All right, guys. Saturday, June 29th. Just want to give y'all a little quick update on the Subaru. As y'all can see, it has a roof rack now. I got that from Chesterfield Auto Parts. Uh, last weekend, it's been a little while since I've been able to uh, video record anything, but there it is. I got it. It won't too bad. Let's see it right in here. I had to take my little saws off and cut them bolts that he had standing up in there. I cut all four of them out. The hardest part about all of it is you got to take the whole headliner out because the bolts go from this way. They go down to the roof, so I take the old headliner out. But got it in there. She's bolted up. Thing looks really good on there. Also, I got me a. Uh, Got me a factory Subaru plastic mat that was uh, in one of them junk cars out there and I got me the the pull thing so it blocks off everything back here so nobody sees I got that too I'm gonna start now working on getting all the gray trim you know because I'm gonna change the interior over to a gray one Excuse some of the dirt, I need to wash it. But I think I'm gonna have to get me another hatch. Because I did find me a spoiler. And when I was putting it on, one, the spoiler broke. And two, the wing nut got caught in this one right here and it really ripped it up again. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get me another hatch for the back that doesn't have the spoiler on it. That way I can just do away with them holes all together. They've got like three of them out there just for all the parts. So I should be able to get one of them pretty quickly. But I just want to give you all a little quick update. I think that little roof rack on the car. I think it really sets it off. Looks really nice. And I just need to get me some better wheels. I really don't like them rims. And then after that I'll start working on the interior. Get that switched over to gray. Then I'll work on the motor. Pull the motor out of it. I don't know if I'm going to rebuild this one or just get me another one to put in it. But so far the low buck Subaru coming on around. And I know like on the door handles I got a little bit of uh, cleaning up to do. Some of that tape bled and the paint got on there. A little bit on the mirrors and windshield wipers they got to clean up a little bit but for the most part it's really good now kind of impressed with it you know I got the little Forester emblem to put back on there got to put that on there too I did get a chrome grill. It was, I think, off like an O2 for it. Because uh, this one right here, it's got a little crack in it right there. And it's just, I don't know. I want to give me another one, but it's, it's a different style. I think the hood dips down and then it goes back up. So it doesn't match up right here. It's a big gap in there, so... I'm not going to use it because I don't want to change the hood. So I'm just going to, it's a, like I said, it's a couple of them out there. I'm just going to get another grill. Hopefully one of them are not broke. And this one's got a couple cracks in it right there too. It's all busted up. So I'm just going to give me another grill. Paint it white around the edges. I still got some paint left over. I got them. Also... When I do the gray interior part, and I take all these door panels and all that stuff off, I'm gonna mass up everything, and I'm gonna paint the inside of the door jams white. Take all the rubber down, paint all that white. That way, you know, see like back here, when I take when I take all the trim out, I'm gonna paint all that white up underneath there. So when you open the doors, you don't see maroon, you'll see the white. But I just want to give y'all a little update, you know, as I progress on it. I want to show y'all things I've done. 
I don't know if I'll be able to get to the junkyard this weekend. Or maybe, hopefully, about the middle of part of July, I'm going to get out there and I'm going to start getting all the trim. I'm going to get all the black, I mean, well, excuse me, sorry, the uh, gray trim for the inside. Of my first goal is I'm going to get all of it for like the pillars, the back piece, the A pillar right here. I'm going to get all that. Try to get the console. The glove box, these pieces, just, you know, maybe try to get all the gray seat belts. The seats, I think, I don't know if I'm going to buy them at the junkyard because they don't look very good. You know, they're kind of dirty, just like these. So I might just buy me some uh, cloth material, gray material, and reupholster them myself. Just take these seat covers off. Take a razor blade and just, you know, cut them all apart. Get you some cloth interior uh, fabric with some real small foam back. Glue it to it and just get you a sewing machine and sew it back together. You know, just make the same pattern for each piece. I think I might go with like a, a light gray. A light gray with like a black center. Or maybe, you know, a light gray with maybe a dark, a little bit darker center. I don't know, at that part I haven't really thought about what I'm going to do. You know, one good thing is, you know, the top part of the dash is black, so that can stay. But the rest of it I want to be gray. But that's where I'm at with those Subi. I'm just going to keep on moving forwards. Alright, until my next video, y'all be good.